My main reason to want to come up here to ask is, eight years ago I started a journey of day trading, and it was amazing when I fake traded with simulation. Yeah, no risk. It, no risk and no, no resistance. No resistance. I loved it. I was energized, I was alive. Yeah. Everything I could see yeah. clearly, clarity. Yeah. You can Swi always see clearly when there's no resistance. Switch over to uh, real money, it didn't work out. Yeah, everyone understands why. <laughs> you do too, don't you? Risk, money shortage consciousness causes you to throw resistance on the trail and then you don't allow the inspiration to flow. And so what you want to do is use real money, but pretend like it's fake. I'm just simulating. Too big of a jump. Yeah, yeah, we get it. We get it. A lot of people bridge that gap by using other people's money. <laughs> so they feel no risk whatsoever just a game it's just a game for them it's all simulation in the context of um, other types of investment where I do let's say real estate or investments I understand in my mind letting go giving the criteria and letting source energy bring we want to give you something here because this is really what you're reaching for the reason that the day trading is appealing is because it is a path of least resistance or a path of lesser resistance in this way. It feels like big things can happen fast if you get it right. And you're kind of in a hurry. Where longer term, in other words, building a business from the ground up, you have so many ideas. There are so many ideas that flow to you, but they feel too slow. It feels like so it doesn't feel like the path of least resistance so what you're weighing out here in other words we can feel that contemplation is on the one hand when there's more risk then there's more resistance and when it feels like it's going to happen too slow there's more resistance so what you want to do is find something that doesn't feel risky but that doesn't feel too slow and that hasn't occurred to you yet you see does that make sense to you yeah but it will so what are you doing now I have a day job uh, managing technology. No risk and too slow. Yes. So resistance. What you want to do is clean the resistance up right there where it is, right where you are. Because as you release resistance where you are, and that's what everybody has to do, no matter where anybody is, that's how they move forward. They got to release resistance where they are. And so since there's no risk you're good at it by the way you're good at what you do you know you are and so what might you do to move that into more satisfaction in the sort of letting go of the too slow factor and just shoring up because you see we're not asking you to find the perfect way to bring the money and the success and the resources right now all we're asking you to do is from right where you stand find a way to be in vibrational balance we're just asking you to find a way to be satisfied and we know so many of you don't think that that's a big enough deal in other words Abraham show me how to day trade show me how to tap in show me how to make it happen fast show me how to have no risks well we want to show you how to find satisfaction that will bring all of that to you it will bring all of that to you but more than that we want you to know that satisfaction that feeling good is the success that you're looking for that is what you're looking for now that doesn't make any sense okay I want satisfaction and the Ferrari Abraham all right I want satisfaction and the relationship and the millions of dollars I want all of that we know you do and we want it all for you too but just ask for the satisfaction and find it because if you will ask for satisfaction which you often don't have and you will find it which we've shown you over and over again here today how to find if you will let satisfaction be your goal you will find everything else very very soon we are not kidding you even a little bit but if finding satisfaction just seems like oh that is so dumb that's not what I came here to hear I came here to find out what really to do and you're just saying be happy be happy <laughs> that's all it is there's no risk factor between satisfied and unsatisfied not really 
more risk for Esther now. She doesn't want to be unsatisfied. She's making this game really important to her. This game is really important to her. She knows she's not going to crash and burn if she gets into dissatisfaction. She still doesn't want it because she's tuned herself to the other that feels so much better. That's what we wish for you too, you see. Let's do this satisfied game for a moment. So tell us what's satisfying about where you are. I love my job, my day job. I love my family. When you say my day job, do you have a night job? Oh, you can't you do your day trading at night. <laughs> you do love your job. You love your job. I love my you job. love your job. Yeah. I'm good at my job. I'm good at my job. What People else? respect me. Uh, they follow my direction. All right, so then let's stick in the little dissatisfaction that comes every now and again, which is? Um, I have to deal with people who are not in tune, focused. All right, so just start there, because that's a different subject than the one we've been talking about. Yep. So I have to deal with people who aren't focused. So now, what's satisfying about that? I'm a good teacher, and I set a good example. And most of them learn from me. Most of them do get it. And that's satisfying. I am a born teacher, and so when I have an opportunity to teach, that's good. And contrast is a big part of all of our experience, and that causes me to launch rockets of desire, and I like to take that bounce. And when I do take that bounce, I am happy that I'm a good teacher, and I really like it when somebody doesn't understand and then they do, or somebody doesn't get something and then they get it, or somebody doesn't do a good job and then they do. There are lots of rewards in this contrast that is part of my work. Esther finds that as she plays this game, there will be one thing of dissatisfaction and then a whole page of satisfaction, then another thing of dissatisfaction, then a whole page of satisfaction. So now pick the other unsatisfying thing that's active in your vibration about this, the part about it not being enough money fast enough. Does that come up or are we making yeah. it up? No. It comes so up. that comes up, but how does it come up? In what way does it show itself to you? Because that's a big general statement. How does it show itself to you in detail on a day-to-day -day basis? I cannot see how to have a healthy retirement. and I'm going to have to do this forever, and then what's going to happen? I'm going to run out of money. I don't want to keep working. I don't want to keep earning like this. And there won't be enough for me to retire on and live the way I want to live. Did we say it the way you mean it? So well, that's strong, and that matters. So now, talk yourself off that ledge. Now find some satisfaction. Hey. I got plenty of time. I know what I'm doing. I've just learned the laws of the universe. I know what to do. I know how to leverage the energy that creates worlds. I am becoming a better and better day trader. There are lots of ways that money can flow into my experience. There are many ways that the money can come into my experience. I'm not ready to retire now anyway. Big things can happen in a short period of time. I'm getting on a roll here. I'm really satisfied. I'm in the perfect place. I've got a job I really like to do. I've got money now that's flowing in. I'm learning about so many things in the market and in the vibrational universe. I'm going to be sitting really, really good at the time that I'm ready to retire. And I've got plenty of time to figure that out. Every bit of that's true, isn't it? Every single thing we said, we got it right out of you. You resonated with all of it, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. So thank you. That's the work. And now is a good time for a segment of refreshment. <laughs>